The x86 CPU has a number of registers in the core itself. These are much faster than normal memory, and some instructions use them as parameters. This video deals with 32-bit registers. 64-bit registers are generally double the size. There are 8 32-bit general purpose registers. However, in practice, only 7 are usable. The ESP register almost always contains the stack pointer. This contains the memory address of the top of the stack. This will be explained in another video. For compatibility with 16-bit programs, the lower 16 bits of the registers are accessible as AX, BX, CX, etc. Next is the segment registers. These are all pointers. CS points to the start of the code segment, DS points to the start of the data segment, and SS points to the stack. ES, FS, and GS can point to other data segments. In a flat memory model, all, reg all of these registers point to address 0x0, the start of memory. The eFlags register, an extended version of the 16-bit flags register, contains a number of status flags and information. For example, bit 0 is set to 1 when an integer overflow occurs. Some bits are reserved. These should never be touched. If you do change them, then undefined behavior will occur. So don't. The instruction pointer, or EIP, is a read-only register containing a pointer to the current instruction. This cannot be changed directly, but instructions like JMP will change it. Now let's look inside the x87 FPU. This coprocessor operates in parallel with the main cores, and is used to process th floating point or decimal calculations. It has eight 80-bit general purpose registers, R0 to R7. The first bit is the sign, 0 for positive, 1 for negative. The next 16 bits hold the exponent, and the rest is the significant. What these bits actually mean is beyond the scope of this video. These 8 registers act as a stack. The tag word holds status information about each register. The FPU status register holds a number of flags about the FPU itself. For example, the 0 divide exception bit is set if the, a division by 0 has occurred. The FPU control word contains a number of options affecting the operation of the FPU. For example, the precision control bits set the precision of the floating point numbers. Finally, we have the LIP, LDP, and LOP. These contain diagnostic status information useful if an error occurs. 